let's look at some of the cheapest places we can stay in calgary for 15 dollars per night you could stay in this place you don't get the whole place to yourself but you do get this room with a double bed and the room has a desk which is nice a kitchen you could use and a bathroom a nice dining table and this is what the price is per night per person for well, the price i think is very good for 26 dollars per night you could stay here this is the sitting area and this could be one of the bedrooms you could be sleeping in you get access to a shower and this is another bedroom that maybe you could sleep in and this is what the price is per night per person the other property was just as nice and cheaper this property is from $30 per night. You get one double bed and you get some kind of sitting area. Part of the kitchen area. The kitchen from another angle. And this shows us more of the kitchen. It's more sitting area for you to eat. The double bed seems to be only for one guest. For $55 for the night, you could stay here. You get the entire home to yourself. The living room seems good for two. I just would have preferred a bigger television. Bed looks okay. Seems like the bedroom is not that big, but for the price, it's okay. I'm disappointed with the kitchen. There's no stove. This shows us part of the bathroom and the stairs. You have a tucked away desk area. And this is the outside of the property. This is the price per person per night. For two people who want something small and who's not really going to cook. Then this could be good for them. For $50 per night, you could get this place. And it's for four guests. This is the living area. It looks cozy. A small desk. And this is the sofa bed where two people can sleep. The kitchen has an oven stove, but the kitchen looks small. This bedroom is small, but it looks nice. You have a bathtub with a shower, and this is a price per night per person. For four people for a short stay, this could be good. Now let's look at some of the mid-range properties. And this place is $61 per night, and you get the entire apartment to yourself. I like the kitchen. Seems to be a studio apartment. This is the bathroom, which might only have a shower. I don't know. And this is the bedroom. The bedroom is a decent size. And this is what the price is per night per person. If you want the whole place to yourself, then this place seems nice. I like. This place starts from $86 per night. This is the building that you could stay in. I like the living area. It looks very clean. You get a small dining area for two people. Yeah, that's good enough. And this kitchen looks nice and clean. I like. This apartment seems to be open plan for two people. I think it's nice. The bedroom don't seem that spacious, but you got the rest of the apartment to yourself. And this bathroom seems nice. I like. This is the view from the balcony. And this is another view. And it seems like you might get access to a gym. And this is what the price is per night per person. It says it's for free guests, but there's only one bedroom. So I guess someone might be sleeping in the living room. And for $92 per night, you could get this entire place to yourself. It looks kind of cozy. Bedrooms seem kind of cramped though. It's nice to get some balcony space. Small desk area. A nice clean kitchen. This seems to show most of the property. And this is from a different angle. This sofa does seem comfortable. And you could get yourself clean in this nice bathroom. Small dining area. And this is what the price is per night per person. I think this place is nice and tidy. Now let's look at some of the expensive places. And this place starts from $135 per night. I like this living room. It looks cozy and nice. The living room from a different angle. There's a fold out bed. And the kitchen is right there. And this is the area with the folding bed folded up. A nice clean kitchen. It's small but adequate. This apartment seems cozy. But the bedrooms don't seem that big. But considering you get the whole place to yourself. It's okay. A bathroom with a shower. A small dining area some balcony space you get to share this area with um, other people a shared gym and a shared pool and this is what the price is per night per person for a short stay i think that's okay now let's look at this property which starts from 140 dollars per night it's for five guests a spacious living area and this is it from a different angle the kitchen seems nice i like the worktop and i like this bedroom I also like this bedroom and it seems very spacious. Yeah, this is a nice bathroom. Yeah, very nice. I think this is the ensuite. This is the outside of the property and this is the price per night per person. It's for five guests and it is nice. Now let's look at this property which starts from $148 per night. It's a farmhouse and this is the view that you'll be seeing. The living area which is pet friendly. Yeah, this place seems to have that warm kind of feel to it. 
dining room and kitchen and a nice size bedroom. This is the second bedroom and this is the third bedroom. This bathroom could have been better. Now you have another separate living area. This is the cabin in the winter and this is the price per night per person. I guess if you want to be in a farm and be away from everyone, then this could be your place. And for $179 per night, you can get this entire townhouse. I like the kitchen. Yeah, this kitchen looks very nice. Then you have a separate dining area. It seemed like the table could be bigger. This living room looks very cozy. Very nice. This is a big bed. The room is spacious. There's enough room in this bedroom. A nice clean bathroom with a separate bathtub and a shower. Another bedroom. This bathroom has a bathtub and I believe a shower in one. And this is another bedroom. You get your own private courtyard. This is the same courtyard from a different angle. And this is what the price is per night per person. So if you can get seven people to go with you and stay with you here, then this could be a very nice place to be. You could get this property for $218 per night. This is a bright living room. Yeah, it looks okay. It seems like it's open plan. The kitchen looks brand new. It's not as big as what I thought it would be for the price, but it's nice. A decent sized bedroom with an ensuite. This bedroom seems very tiny. This bathroom seems okay. A nice walk-in shower. A small dining area. This chair can be folded out into a bed. We're almost there. Yeah, now this is a bed. And this is the price per night per person. It's a penthouse in a great location. It might be smaller, but it might be more convenient to get to places. Now let's look at where the rich might stay. For $588 for the night, you can get this entire apartment. It's for two guests, and this is where they could sleep. Bathroom is adequate. From this angle, it seems like this kitchen is a decent size. I like this kitchen. For the price, I would expect a better bathroom than this. Open plan living, a cozy living area, a small desk. This is the price per person per night. I guess you might want to choose to stay here if it's in a prime location. For $735 for the night, you can get this entire apartment and it's for four guests. The living area is cozy. This is the sofa bed. This bedroom looks nice and I like this kitchen. The property seems to be open plan and this is a desk area where you could do your editing or wherever you want with two monitors. Walk-in shower. You got some balcony space. This is the entrance to the building. This is the price per night per person. I think for the price for four people, it might be better off just getting two separate apartments. For $519, you can get this entire home. It's for nine guests and it's got four bedrooms. The living area seems spacious. It seems like it's open plan. It does look nice. I like this kitchen. It's not that spacious, but I like. Now this seems like a spacious bedroom. Yeah, it, it looks nice. This is the other bedroom. And yeah, it looks nice and tidy. This is the third bedroom. This is the fourth bedroom. All of the bedrooms are spacious. The bathroom looks brand new. Walk-in shower and another walk-in shower. I like this area. The dining table seems nice. This office space is okay. Potentially it could be for two. This is the outside of the property. The backyard has a lot of seating areas. Place where you can work out. And you have another sitting space. This is the price per night per person. I like the property for $326 per night. You get this entire home and it's for 13 guests. A very spacious bedroom. I like. I like this bathroom. I would have preferred a bigger dining table. This is the backyard with a hot tub. A place where you can work out. Living room and kitchen. Open plan. I like this living room area. I guess this might be the reading room. Or you could use it as an office. This is the outside of the property. Two beds. Maybe for kids. This is the room from a different angle. This bedroom seems okay. I was hoping for something bigger though. Again, this bedroom seems okay. Just, I would have preferred it to be slightly bigger. The kitchen is adequate. It's not that big, but definitely will get the job done. Yeah, this living area seems very cozy. This is a nice size bedroom. And this bedroom has an ensuite. And this is the price per night per person. If you're going to stay in Calgary and you want to stay with 12 people, then this seems like a very nice place to stay.